Hey, what's up? I'm um, just doing an update. So, I don't just want to talk about also all the changes that happened to my tank. And some of the, well, good and not so good things that happened. Well, first, I would like to point out is obviously Xenia's go really fast, like many people know. And that's why there is Xenia at the back of the tank, which is attached to the back. That's what I was hoping would happen. And there's Xenia in the cup. Just basically the same amount of Xenia that I have in the back. So yeah, Xenia's gone like crazy. And I also like to point out that I sold two frags also. So yeah, Xenia going crazy like it normally does. Now, the bad I'd like to point out is what happened to my Montipora. So, to start, I told said I had, in my older videos, I said I had a heater failure, which after that, my Montipore started to recede quite badly, actually. So I fragged it, but it continued to recede slowly. So, I guess you'd call it slow tissue narcotisis. Either way, it was not doing well. I also tested my alkalinity and I found that that was it was low at six so I figured that because of the low alkalinity mixed with the the heater failure what is what really caused my uh, Montipore cap to do so bad but now that after uh, keeping doing some water changes, keeping the alkalinity high, also dose baking soda every now and then, a little bit, to make sure the alkalinity stays the same. And my Montipore has been recovering quite nicely. I have one frag here, and then there's one right beside it, right here. So I cut it up into three pieces, and all three pieces seem to be doing well now so that's good the next good thing is let's see. my dunking coral grew two new heads which means doing good growing two heads is always a good thing so I'm excited for that my Aiken has also two heads, but let's see if I can get it better. The camera is really not liking the light with my Aiken. Oh well. Either way, that always had two heads, but one of the heads has grown quite significantly, so. That's another good thing. But another bad thing is, during that time, my Blastomusa, which is right behind the mushroom, died. It was one of my prettier corals with one of the better color screams, uh, red, orange and blue. And orange colors in corals is generally hard to come by. It kind of made me sad that I had to lose my Blasto. Unlike something like a Montipora, you know, you can technically always buy another red Montipora cap again. But uh, orange and blue Blasto, it's kind of hard to find, so. It's kind of sad to lose one of the corals that I guess I'd say are one of the rare corals that I had. Um. I actually also had a snail recently die. That's because it got stuck to the filter while I was gone. I usually leave two or three for two or three days a week uh, to go home after from school. But uh, the snail got stuck on it during that time, and since I wasn't there, I couldn't take it off, and it just died there. So I lost some cleanup crew, and as you could, see, oh, as you could see, my tank has quite a lot of algae. Let's see. 
look at this. Look at that string right there. It's all the way up. There's all, quite a bit on the rocks everywhere. But I'm really not gonna bother with the LG for now. For two reasons. I plan on getting the algae scrubber back in action. Once I do that, I think then I'll try and remove as much algae as possible. But right now, I really don't see a point in removing it because it's just gonna grow back, really. So once I get my algae scrubber working, then I'll try and remove as much as possible. And that's basically it for all the changes to my tank. Everything else seems to be doing good. The only coral with significant growth, I'd say, would be the Montipora, considering how bad it was doing before and now it's recovering. The Pulsing Xenia, because, well, <laughs> I have so much already that I have to sell some. And my Duncan Coral, since it grew two new heads at once, which I'd say is pretty nice. Depending on how well I did with my Montepore frag. Now that they've been recovering quite nicely, I've been thinking about getting Acropora, but my wallet's been disagreeing with me. Either way, my fish zebes hungry as usual. So, 